ticket they had to take to the trees. The lead side, Alan Clark passed fit during the week. They, it's a strong and experienced side. Paul Reaney, for example, played in both those previous semi-finals in 65 and 70 against Manchester United, and Peter Lorimer will be their substitute. Manchester United, no problems at all for manager Tommy Doherty, a full-strength side, and of course it's virtually the side that took United to the final last season. But there is one important change, because a man who's given an added balance as well as penetration to the side in the past few months is in fact Jimmy Greenoff, the striker they bought from Stoke City. He presents quite a danger to Leeds United, and a man who's always a danger is Alan Clark of Leeds, even though he says himself he's not quite 100% fit. Referee Tom Reynolds, formerly of Swansea, now a hotelier in Wiltshire, and now we're all ready for the start. So Manchester United kick off, in red shirts and white shorts attacking the goal to our left. Leeds in their all yellow strip, and Wembley awaits the winner, the manager of Leeds United, Jimmy Armfield, saying before the game, Wembley now is a carrot dangling before us, all we've got to do is eat it. Well, to eat it, they've also got to devour a Manchester United side that'll come hard at them with some attacking football, and with the knowledge that they came here a year ago and beat Derby County in a semi-final then, before losing at Wembley to Southampton. Here's Alex Stepney. Green up well. All two United players, Macari and McElroy, going for that same ball. Pearson. Very difficult indeed for players to judge the ball in this gusty wind. Topple. And the two Greys are after him. Frankie and uh, Eddie. And a throw to Manchester United. Black clouds over the hills above Sheffield and uh, judging by the flags, the wind is bringing them this way. Koppel and a corner. First one of the game. So Hill with this corner as Leeds organise themselves in their penalty area. On the wind, a backheader by Houston, and Jimmy Greenoff! The break they wanted, with eight minutes gone, there's the corner from Gordon Hill. Houston's beautiful backheader. A missed kick there, and the number eight, Jimmy Greenoff, 1-0 to Manchester United, eight minutes gone. The long kick from Maley, the wind there, Frankie Gray right in there, Clark right in there. Go kick. The long free kick there from Maley. Joe Jordan winning a good ball in the air and Clark over the top. Hard work for Alex Stepney, hitting it against the wind, as strong as it is here. Just over the halfway line, McQueen winning it well in the air. Here's Jordan. McElroy to Hill. Houston. Green is there, taking no chances. Brian Greenoff, Makari. Crowd enjoying that, at least the Manchester United area is. A throw to Man United. Greenoff. Hill planted high and hopefully forward. Oh, that time Pearson won it in the air. And it might come now for Koppel. That's the second one. A brilliant goal for Manchester United. Stevie Koppel. What a start. 15 minutes of a semi-final. When you're all knotted up with...
with nerves. There's nothing better than two goals in the first 15 minutes to make you forget them. Pearson winning that well in the air from McQueen. And as it comes through here to Koppel, that's 2-0. It might go a long way towards killing the cup tie as well. It's going to take an awful lot for Leeds to pull this back now. Well, they are the silent men from Yorkshire. Their side two down. Pearson's header. McQueen, Frank Gray, Curry, Clark, Eddie Gray. Played on for Alan Clark. Now this is a chance for Leeds. Oh, and Clark of all people missed it. He usually has those for breakfast and really needs needed that so very badly. Straight through, under pressure from Brian Greenoff and Stepney coming out, a whisker wide. Well, two United defenders went for that and here's Eddie Gray. Bit of a tangle there and Gray with a little chip can Jordan get in there for that one he can't but can Curry oh. well that all stemmed from a fault by Jimmy Nickel on the far side and Curry in the end very nearly made him pay for it just look at the muddle here and it's Nickel who loses it to Eddie Gray delightful chip by Gray Jordan menacing at the far post it comes out and Curry has to hit it from an angle that proves impossible. The rain coming down really heavily now into the faces of Manchester United, but they really haven't a care in the world. Pearson, Koppel, flicked on again this time for Makari, McQueen right there, and somehow Makari got it back well. Hill! out of play until it finally crosses the line and that was a beautiful example there of Makari that looked odds on going over the line but he hooks it back and leads are vulnerable until Stewart saves from Hill it's all right again Curry with the throw Clark a touch for Eddie Gray To the right foot and Buchan. Well, I think his heart was a flutter there that easily. A, a slight mistiming and that would have gone into the back of the net. But the man at the heart of the United defence knew just what he was doing. So it's a corner for Leeds. Anxiety can be seen there as Frankie Gray takes this corner for lead. Stepney just getting a fist to it in spite of Gordon McQueen right in front of him. And that's another corner. Well, there'll just about be time to take it and not much more. Curry curling it in again. The back header by Clark. McQueen right in there. And Cherry right in there. Oh, and it was put behind by McQueen. And that was a golden chance again for Leeds United on the stroke of half-time. The corner, and just watch the back flick here by Alan Clark. The chance falls for Trevor Cherry here. And when that's charged down by Buck and it falls to McQueen, but it's past the United post. So it stays at 2-0 to United. Here's Gordon Hill. Pearson. Which suggests that although United have done a tremendous job and the lead is deserved, that if Leeds can just snatch something and get that tremendous psychological uplift, this semi-final is anything but over. 
As the whistle goes for half-time, the cheers from the Manchester United fans. You saw Steve Coppola a moment there has scored the uh, second goal for United. There's Jimmy Greenoff who got the first. Two of the goals that came in the first 16 minutes of the game. Now oh, Frank Gray should be able to do it for them. Bakken, though he was impeded there by Jordan, knew just what he wanted to do. Nicol finding Stuart Pearson, Jimmy Greenoff's waiting in the middle, and so too was David Stewart. Pearson looking so lively, some brilliant work he's uh, getting through in the middle of the field. With his little headers and his touch-ons, and this time rounding McQueen, and a good piece of goalkeeping by Stewart. Cherry, but straight for Houston. Jimmy Greenoff, beautiful ball played for Sammy McElroy. Pearson's waiting in the middle, he tried to turn it back for Koppel and Cherry had done a beautiful shadowing job on Koppel. They just cannot get it away, United coming at him again. McElroy once more. Now Hill. There's the cross coming in, Rini away for Leeds. What of an hour second half gone and no break in the onslaught yet for Leeds United McElroy turning it back to Jimmy Greenoff Houston blasting it deflected and it finally came through to Stewart could so easily have been number three played back nicely there by Jimmy Greenoff the blast by Stewart Houston the deflection and in the end Popple couldn't quite get a touch Alan Clark for Leeds. Played into the path of Cherry. Interesting, two against two. Jordan is the other one, and here he is. Now, if he can get past Nickel, just look how cool. Penalty! Penalty! Nickel has brought down Jordan, and Leeds now have a chance. This is the incident. Jordan getting past Jimmy Nickel. And that's what brought about the penalty, bringing him down. And now Alan Clark, who scored from the penalty spot last Saturday against Ipswich, now has one of the most important kicks of his career. I remember a World Cup penalty he scored for England in uh, Mexico and against Poland at Wembley. A cool head, a sure shot, and sure leads need it now. And they've got it 2-1. Alan Clark has brought this game really back to life. Stepney, a left hand, despairingly touching it. But he couldn't stop it going into the net. And how United, Manchester United it is, must be grateful for that marvellous start. Hill, green off. And Rini, oh, he missed his chance, Hill, and Stewart was down. Hill didn't really uh, clobber that in the way that he wanted to, unlike Paul Rini to make a mistake like this. A nice one-two play between Hill and Jimmy Greenoff. Rini completely misses it, and Stewart saves him. Hill versus Rini. McElroy and Stewart bounced very awkwardly in front of him and there were three Manchester United players within two yards of him and he fumbled it for just a moment this is a shot by McElroy just look at that bounce just in front of him and look at those United players waiting for the slightest mistake Houston being told by Stepney to get it away. Clark was a little too close for comfort, but he's only got it away as far as Tony Curry. Now can Curry engineer something here? He can! A great shot just over. Well, oh, these little chances are coming Lee's way, and it's not over by any means yet.
this powerful man with a powerful shot and the midfield trickery to go with it getting a yard but finding it also a yard too high McQueen Hill interesting ball because Pearson can get to it closing in on McQueen Leeds getting men back there's Pearson with a shot oh and he had to fist that away no penalty Pearson back for Koppel whistle gone free kick to Leeds tremendous shot there by Pearson and a goalkeeper making himself big as David uh, Stewart did there just to punch that away get it away anywhere give himself some breathing space a nudge in the back on Hill not given as a penalty and the whistle went for that push there free kick to Leeds play on says the referee here's McQueen who's come up and United have brought them all back determined to concede nothing a check with both linesmen and United as they built that ball into the stand Steve Koppel are a matter of seconds away from the final those two goals in that opening 16 minutes have done it for them hard though Leeds have come at them in this second half but here's Eddie Gray it's a throw from Brian Greenoff so Leeds with a throw Curry with a long throw Clark trying to get the header in it'll come for Cherry who's hit it too high and falls to the ground in the agony of that moment that might have saved everything for Leeds a long throw and there it comes out for Cherry slips and it goes over the top Referee's done well, and really he's just really got one more job to do, and that's to blow the final whistle. But here's Koppel now for Manchester United. They all want to keep the ball at that end of the field. A throw to Leeds. Cherry with it. To Lorimer. Time added on for injuries, and time wasting now amounts to two minutes. Lorimer takes it up again for Leeds. The long ball if Gray can get to it it's get it away from him and that could well be the last chance and it is Manchester United are through to Wembley for the second successive year their players embrace each other as you look at the delighted Manchester United fans scenes of joy from the men in red who worked and worked and worked to build that winning lead in the first half and saw it whittled away by the penalty in the second and had one or two moments that scared them. But a look at those scenes of joy from United, who badly want to uh, repair the damage to their pride and make it up for their fans for that defeat in the final last year. Now they've got that chance. With the goals coming from Jimmy Greenoff and Steve Koppel in the first 16 minutes, and Alan Clark from the penalty spot for Leeds in the second half.